What is up? Today we are going to be putting Star Wars shows and movies in a tier list. Of course we got S, which is S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, E tier, F tier. I'm not really too familiar with E and F, but I mean we'll use it as like, you know, F being the worst. So we're going to first start off with the movies and then we'll go into the shows. So what we have here is the movies. Uh, if you can look, we got Mandalorian first. Pretty good, pretty good. I, I think we all know, yeah. Then we got Solo. Uh, looks like Revenge of the Sith. So, we're going to start off with The Phantom Menace. Alright. Yet again, pretty good movie. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put this in C. And here's my thoughts. Great movie. Anakin just became... You know, we have young Anakin Skywalker. That's good enough. Then, not only that, we have Mace Windu. But but then we got Qui-Gon Jinn. Qui-Gon Jinn oh, used to be my favorite Jedi. Until I became wise, and now Obi-Wan's my favorite Jedi. So, anyways, but enough of what I like. <laughs> I think, I think the movie just a little bit long for what it has to offer, you know. I mean, there's not the greatest fights. I mean, Darth Maul and Qui-Gon was, like, one of the greatest duels of Star Wars history. But, you know, I think there's better. Um, so we're just going to put it in C just because I feel like everybody agrees that it should deserve to be there. So, next up, Attack of the Clones. Now, for me, for me, it's going to go B. I, I'm doing this for you guys. I don't want to get hate comments in the in the comments, but I love it, man. Like it's so good. Like I love the fight. Jango Fett, you know, little Boba Fett, Obi Wan. The I mean, we get to see the clones on genies, or you know, fight the. I mean, it's just it's beautiful. It's a beautiful movie. I mean, the scenes are beautiful. You know, Padme and Anakin they fall in love. They fall in love. That's enough by itself. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, okay? Next up, Revenge of the Sith. Should I even explain myself? Should I? Listen, it's beautiful, alright? Revenge of the Sith is like a masterpiece, alright? You got Anakin turning... The, the fight between Obi-Wan and Anakin, it's it's beautiful. You know, Padme almost losing her life by, get, by getting choked and then losing her life to kids. I mean, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It's like a masterpiece in the making, is, is it not? Is it not? I feel like it is. For me, it definitely is. I, I think it's just a beautiful movie, so... Next up, and here we go. We're going by timeline order. So, we'll, of course, we'll go like Solo and then Rogue One. So, so next up, um, actually, let me bring up my timeline. I don't, I don't know my timeline. Or I don't know if Rogue One or Solo came before. Uh, I, know, I know both of those are before, but, you know, it's whatever. Okay, so, oh, crap, Star Wars. All right, it's gonna be Solo, and then Rogue One. All right, next up, Solo. So I'm gonna put Solo in E. It wasn't Han Solo, it wasn't Harrison Ford, it wasn't anything crazy, I didn't like the characters. It's an all right, I get Solo meets Chewie, you know, the whole gambling stuff. Kind of seems like a Star Wars Steve will do it. You know, if you don't know if Steve will do it, he's this guy. You know, you've definitely seen him. But, uh, I just don't really agree with it. It's, I mean, it's just an alright, uh, you know, movie. But, I mean, other than that, though, it, it's, it's pretty great. It's pretty good, I, I will say so. Next up, Rogue One. Rogue One, I'm going to put it in C. First movie we had without any lightsabers, any lightsaber fights. Beautiful. It was just beautiful. Uh, 
I think the characters were played very well. You know, it shows us how the rebels got the Star Wars plan, the the Death Star plans. I'm glad that they got the Star, the Death Star plans. But yet again, it's all right. It's nothing crazy. You know, I, I would I, I would agree that it goes there. All right. Uh, next up, we got we got the New Hope. Yet again, B. Now I get first time this came out. First time this came out, it was beautiful for the people's eyes. People wanted more of it. That's why they had, you know, Empire Strikes Back. You know, it's it's a beautiful movie. You know, Obi Wan dies to Darth Vader. Sad, it really is. But it's what started it all. And for that reason, it's gonna go A because it is what started it for you know all you know I mean, just a beautiful movie. It started Star Wars. Can't have you know, you know. Next up, next up, we do have, we do have, Empire, the Empire Strikes Back. I'm gonna also put it B, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a big fan of Empire Strikes Back. Strikes Back. Uh, I'm just, I'm not, I'm beyond, I mean, I know, I know. I don't know what it is. I don't know, I do like when they go to Bespin and you know, and I love that Boba Fett, you know, gets introduced and you know, follows Han Solo and then, you know, basically traps him. You know, I mean, he, he, did, he did his deed, but I just, it's an all right. I think I think it's a pretty good movie. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll like it. I like it. Next up, Return of the Jedi. Again, a a tier movie. A tier a tier movie. I mean, I mean, it's definitely an A tier movie. I mean, let's be honest. It's beautiful. I mean, green lightsaber. A beautiful lightsaber for Luke Skywalker. One of the greatest duels ever between him and his father. Don't even get me started on this song. It's just beautiful. Literally just beautiful. Uh, I mean, there's much, there's not much more I can say other than it's literally beautiful. Uh, other than that. And then we come down. I remember when this movie came out. I remember fifth grade me skipping school to go see this movie. And I remember the first shot we get was the lights flickering in the transport ship of the stormtroopers. And seeing that stormtrooper for the first time was baffling. It was baffling. I was never more in love with a stormtrooper ever. I thought they were the coolest thing ever. I, I literally, after I seen that movie, I said, I will join the First Order today. All right? And for that reason, I'm going to put it in A tier. Love it. Love it. You know, the whole idea of Ray being just a a girl, you know. I, everybody's like, Ray this, Ray that, you know, Ray this. What about Kylo Ren? All right? That boy powerful, all right? And let me tell you something. I didn't know, watch the Star Wars Force Awakens for Rey. Rey Skywalker? <laughs> no, I watched it for my boy, Ben Solo. Loved it. That lightsaber. Oh, I, I, I mean, it's just beautiful. It's, it really is just beautiful. Next up, um, hold up. Next up, we got the the Last Jedi. Put it in D. It's 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 awful. I mean, it's it's awful. It, it really is awful. I mean, it's awful. It, it really is. I mean, it's just it's awful. You know, awful. Is there anything I have to say about it? I think I think honestly, the the best part of the movie was was great. You know, seeing crate for the first time, seeing how that, you know, it's it's white on top, but as soon as you like put your feet down, it's red under your under your footprint. I think that might have been the coolest part about the movie. 
I mean, am I wrong? Am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. You you know you know as good as I do that the coolest part about that movie is that when the ships were going over the over the thing, I forgot what they're called, but when they were going over the land, it's turning red dust, and and that you gotta admit that's the coolest part about the movie, and that's sad that that's the coolest part about the movie because let's be honest, that's just not great. That's just not great at all. Next up, The Rise of Skywalker. I'm going to see. Like again, it's nothing great. The the woman goes, "What's your name?" And I would have paid a hundred dollars for Ray to not say Ray Skywalker. I don't know what else to say about that. I mean, I really don't. I mean, are are, are we serious right now? Are we serious? I don't know. That's why, that's why it's going in C. Next up shows. Clone Wars. S. Oh. Beautiful. It really is. I loved it. It's like one of the greatest TV shows ever. It really is. Next up, Mandalorian. S tier. No. There's nothing better than a Mandalorian. Is there? A Mandalorian? Let me, I'll just. Get, I know you can't hear me real well, but this is a this is amazing. I'm literally actual amazing. I mean, it literally is amazing. I mean, there's not much more that I can say than the Mandalorian might be one of the greatest shows ever. And I'm not wrong. All right, I'm not wrong. Next up, Star Wars Rebels. I'm gonna go A. I loved it. I'm, I'm a big TV show guy, you know. I, I think it was great. After watching it, I'm gonna go B because it's just all right. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, I, I do like it. And then I'm gonna be honest, it's like called the Resistance something. I've never even seen it, but I know it's F tier. I know it is. I have never heard one single person talk about this show. Never in my life have I heard a person talk about this show. That's why it's going F2. So there it is, guys. There's my tier list for Star Wars. I'm a big Star Wars geek. You know, hey, I'm an athlete, all right? All right, I'm not no geek. All right, I'm not no nerd. But when it comes to Star Wars, maybe just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. But, hey, man, what do you think about this tier list? I think it's pretty good. You know, just give me your comments on it. Uh, also, subscribe.